European Union has for long been one of the dominant economic forces uh, in the international system. Uh, but in the last few years, the European Union is talking about uh, a security role, that the EU must emerge as a security actor. And this uh, would essentially mean that the EU has to play a larger role uh, in the emerging strategic geography of the Indo-Pacific. Until now, European approach to this region has been mercantilist, largely viewing the Indo-Pacific through the uh, lens of economy and commerce, and also tied to a China first strategy. But today, I think it needs to take a more integrated view as the challenges mount from China and the existing order breaks down. The EU has a big role in structuring a new and more secure and more stable order uh, in, in the Indo-Pacific. I'm very encouraged by the recent uh, summit meeting uh, between uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the uh, European leaders that took place uh, in uh, under the auspices of Portugal. Now, I think uh, the India is now finally ending its historic neglect of the European Union. And today it is prepared to see Europe as a very important partner uh, in uh, stabilizing the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, because until now, our focus has been on the US and on building a normal relationship with China. But today India sees the need to have a larger number of actors and a wider coalition that certainly includes the European Union uh, to produce stability and prosperity uh, in the Indo-Pacific. So I think the European Union for India is an essential uh, partner and hopefully we will begin to translate the political commitment to actual outcomes. How it will look uh, will depend on three factors, I think. One is the domestic political evolution of the United States. Uh, while the US is today taking a strong position on the Indo-Pacific, there are concerns that uh, the U.S. is becoming inward-oriented and that there is a strong sense of isolationism. So I think how U.S. domestic politics plays out will be a crucial factor. Second, I think China's own judgment. China is the most important power in this part of the world, uh, has taken a very uh, aggressive posture. But if it does not uh, cooperate with its neighbors uh, in or assuaging their concerns, then I think uh, the region is going to be in a very, very difficult situation. While initially China might have successes, a countervailing coalition will uh, inevitably build. The third is, the what does the region do? I, I don't think the region can leave it to the US and China uh, to solve all the problems. They need to do more. And the question is, are they willing to contribute more uh, to the regional security? Mm -hmm.